Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So I have another Charlotte Tilbury review for you. I'm reviewing the new collection she just came out with of three love filter lipsticks. So if you want to know my thoughts on them, hear what's special about them, see some swatches, all of that good stuff, then just keep watching. I must admit I am a little bit biased when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury lipstick reviews because she really has one of my favorite lines of lipsticks as far as formulation and color stories. I just find all of her colors in her range to be very flattering on me and I feel like there's something special in her undertones that just bring so much life to my face and she just always nails it with the colors so every time she comes out with a collection I try to purchase the entire thing or like my mom will purchase half and I'll purchase the other half because her colors, her undertones, they work really well on my skin and my mom who has a medium skin tone she also loves colors on herself so she just recently came out with three new lipsticks these are called the love filter matte revolution lipsticks and what is special about these is that they are wedding themed which it came out just in time for wedding season I know that wedding season is a little bit off right now I normally do a wedding makeup but I have pushed all of my weddings back until like October because I just I don't know you <laughs> there's something about really being touchy with people that I'm not quite sure about yet. But these are limited edition. I will say just compared to other things that have come out, limited edition is actually limited edition, but it's not an item that's super hard to get a hold of. So you have some time to think about the product and if you ever want to purchase it, they will run out eventually, but normally she does a pretty good job in stocking these things. So these love filter lipsticks are inspired by the magical beauty morphing power of love, joy, and happiness, a bouquet of dreamy rosebud kisses for the prettiest, most beautiful looking lips. Now I can't sell that description like Charlotte does but that's what she has on her website. These guys are also going to be $34 each. Also something really cool this is while supplies last but if you spent a certain amount of money on her website you got a free lip collagen gloss and I got peachy plump. I think everybody gets peachy plump. This is actually a super gorgeous gloss you guys. I'm very happy with receiving this as a free gift with purchase. But let's get into the lipstick. So these are a little bit different than her regular ones. First of all look at this beautiful floral feminine box. Her box boxes don't normally look like this so this is a limited edition packaging for the box and I think it's really really cute of course I mean I'm going to throw mine away so maybe it's not that special but it always is a nice touch the lipstick components themselves are the same I would have loved to have seen her switch it up and instead of maybe just this kind of texture she would put in some hearts or something but what is nice is the lipstick itself has a cool component to it where you have little shapes of lipsticks and if this doesn't sell ya I don't know you're stronger than me because this definitely sold me. The lips are the texture of like, you know, the Pat McGrath or the Lisa Eldridge, how they have that really cool texture to them. That's what this is, but in the shape of a lips. So even though these look like they could be a different formula, they're not. This is her Matte Revolution formula. My opinion on the Matte Revolution formula is I really enjoy them. I find her mattes to have a little bit of a sheen to them. As you can see, it does hit the light a little bit, but it's such a comfortable matte and I would prefer that than a really powdery matte that's making my lips look really dry. Nature of matte lipsticks is they aren't going to be as hydrating and these aren't as hydrating as her kissing formula which is that cream finish but they're very lightweight and very comfortable on the lips so she definitely has one of my favorite matte formulas. I prefer her matte formula over say uh, Pat McGrath. I just I really like it. Let's get into the actual colors here. So the three colors are Mrs. Kisses, Wedding Bells, and then First Dance. So the first color I have to swatch for you is Mrs. Kisses. For these lip swatches, I use the Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury and Super Size Me. This is the perfect lip liner for all three of these. So if you're looking for the best lip liner, I would say to go with Super Size Me. Now she does come out with a couple of bundles that match up the best lip liner in her line with these lipsticks, but if you're looking for that one key lip liner, Super Size Me is very good. Now Mrs. Kisses is described as a golden peachy pink lipstick with a beautiful matte finish and it definitely pulls a lot warmer on the lips than I thought it would and the whole range honestly it's a little bit deeper than I was expecting from her which I personally really like I think it really makes your lips pop and I think it's more inclusive to medium and deeper skin tones as well I was expecting some flush pink lips because that is kind of the idea of wedding colors but these were a little bit deeper than I was expecting and I really like the shades that she came out with so Mrs. Kisses on me I really enjoyed it's warmer it's not my ideal wedding color like I personally would 
wouldn't wear this to get married, but it did bring my face out and it brought out the warmth in my blush and it was very pretty. And then the next color that I tried on is Wedding Bells. Wedding Bells is a nude pink lipstick with a kissable matte finish. And this one was noticeably less warm than that first color. When I swatched them, I was like, oh, these two are really close to having a collection. And honestly, their undertones make a big difference on the skin. I don't think you need both. I think it depends on your preferences. Personally, I much prefer this color myself. I like that it's a little bit more pinky. It's definitely a deeper pink on the lips. And this would be the color that I would wear out of this collection on my wedding day. I think it's perfect for a ceremony. And this is a color that is very flattering on a lot of different skin tones. I really enjoyed Wedding Bells a lot. And then the last color in this range is First Dance. And this is kind of the deepest color. It is a berry rose lipstick. And this is going to look really beautiful on medium to deeper skin tones. If you're more of a fair skin tone, this is kind of like the evening lipstick. So you would wear one of the first two lighter colors for this ceremony and then wear this deeper color at the reception. That's how I would do it anyways. Obviously, you don't need to be getting married to wear these lipsticks, but I mean, that's kind of what was thought of when <laughs> these lipsticks were created. So I wanted to share my opinion on that. And this is a beautiful berry color. It's the one I'm wearing in this video. Definitely brings out the color in my face. And you know, if you're very, very fair, just be aware that these colors are going to be deeper on you. They're gonna show up very vividly. Of the three, I think my personal favorite is Wedding Bells. It's just kind of a really great everyday color. It's going to look really good if you're not wearing a lot of makeup, just to bring some life back to your face. Though I do enjoy First Dance, the one that I'm wearing right now. It's a bit deep for me for everyday wear. I do like it, but it's more of an evening lipstick. Mrs. Kisses isn't my favorite. It is a nice color, but just of the three, it's my least favorite in the line. So I did make my mom try these on for me. She has a medium skin tone. She's NC40 for reference. And the two of the lighter colors, they weren't nudes on her, but they definitely were more neutral colors on her. They were just really pretty flattering peachy shades it kind of looked like so on medium skin tones these are a beautiful color and last dance that deepest color I noticed it pulled a little bit brighter on her compared to me where it pulled a little bit more deeper either way that color is also going to work on deeper skin tones so this collection is medium to deep friendly as well which I enjoy there really isn't a neutral everyday option so much for fairer skin tones unless you like a little bit of depth. I mean, this is going to be a pretty quick video. I really enjoy her matte formula. I think these colors are good. I don't think they're anything special and I don't think they're anything that really stands out in her line. One thing that Charlotte's line is notorious for is releasing colors that you already have. And yeah, I don't really think these colors are that unique, nor are they that unique to her line. From what I could tell from swatching, I didn't have a color exactly like this, but colors like Walk of Shame or Bond Girl, they're all kind of in the same family. So if you have those, you might not need those unless you really want like a special wedding day lipstick. These are kind of cool because they're really pretty and they're limited edition. So this next clip is going to be some swatch comparisons of some of her other popular colors just so you can see kind of how they lay out and compare to the others. So I did do some comparison swatches so that you could see how the colors kind of compare. So we have the three new shades at the back and as you can see compared to a lot of the colors immediately they're on the darker side i chose to swatch them against colors that are very popular from her range just so you can kind of have an idea so in this order we have live it up stoned rose bond girl walk of shame bitch perfect in love with olivia and then here is the classic pillow talk. Of all of these, I would say Walk of Shame kind of goes in with the collection most. It's very similar with the two darker colors. Also, Bond Girl is close. It's a little bit more purple, but it's in the same kind of depth. So if you like these two colors, this might be a line you want to look into. But just so you can kind of see how it compares with the rest of her line, I would say not super unique colors, of course. I mean, when is it ever, but they're good colors. But those are my comparisons. I like her formula. I like these colors. These are what they look like on me. And yeah, I, if you like these colors, I don't think you can go wrong. I do definitely recommend them. And I do think the lipstick itself is a little bit more special because of what you get on the actual lipstick. Do I think it's necessary? No. But if you don't have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, $34 is a lot. And I definitely think it's a line worth looking towards investing in because 
I personally really like her undertones on my skin tone. That being said, I've had a lot of other people comment that they hated the undertone of her lip line. So it just depends, but I'm a big fan. So that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.